Hey guys, is Hilton Embassy Suites the place we would recommend that you stay in Washington, D.C.? Stay tuned to find out. If you're planning a trip to Washington, D.C. and trying to figure out where should you stay, what hotel, you might want to take a look at the Embassy Suites. Now, you know we're normally Marriott people just because we've earned status over the years, but we thought we'd venture out and try something different, right? Finally. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so we're gonna break down the room, we're gonna break down the location, proximity to transportation, all Food. the stuff. Mm -hmm. All the stuff so you can make an educated decision if it's the right spot for you. Stay tuned. When we first arrived, they gave us two free drink tickets yeah. to the bar, which was fantastic. Welcome drinks. Mm. So yummy. I know, I don't know if everyone gets those. I think only people that are going through a timeshare presentation yeah, maybe. get that, but they were delicious and a fabulous way to start our vacation. Oh, after a long day of traveling, oh, yeah. it's it nice was, to have a little welcome really drink nice. in the bar. It was so. really nice. We made it. Welcome Where drink to the hotel. Yay! All right, well, you know we like to walk a lot, even though we used all the transportation in DC, all forms. In fact, you should check out our video, how to, what, what's the title? How to get around, to get around Washington, D.C. Yeah, yeah, pretty good stuff. Anyway, but we were walking outside our hotel and the neighborhood that it's in, it's not downtown. It's actually in kind of the suburbs and, uh, you know, older homes and flats and different things. Really, really cute. Wouldn't you say, babe? Very, very cute homes. I love like walking around and seeing how people decorate their homes and like their front porches and oh, stuff. Yeah, and I get doors. all kinds of ideas. Oh, yeah, yeah. it yeah. was it was really fun. Really pretty yeah. established uh, foliage and everything. It was really cool. I loved it. One thing to note is that it is very close to the metro system. Three, four blocks from DuPont Circle, or you can go south. I think it's south. Maybe it's east. I don't know the, the directions, but towards George Washington University was another one that we used. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah. yeah. So there's two potential exits that you can take off of the metro to get to the hotel, and both of which are fairly close within walking distance, a few blocks. Yeah. So yeah, three, four blocks. And DuPont Circle is super close to the hotel, too, and there's all kinds of fun things to do at DuPont Circle. So, oh, yeah, good food, all sorts of yes, stuff. Yes, Larry's ice cream. Larry's ice cream. <laughs> Just saying. All right, guys, let's talk about breakfast. You know me, I love food. We need more food. And I can be a frugal guy too. So if we can get a hotel that has free breakfast and it's a quality breakfast, you know, not one of them continental No, but no garbage. muffins and bananas. Oh my pass. gosh, that's, I mean, that's not that breakfast. That can be your whole breakfast. That's like a warm up. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, give me some, some hot food, some protein. Sausage and bacon. Bacon and eggs and all that good stuff. So this one actually had a made to order omelet station, which was really a treat every morning to come out to. And they also have all the other stuff, the shaving dishes with the, you know, scrambled eggs and, and the sausage and, and bacon and coffee. all that. And all like you get Lexi coffee, she's a happy girl. She's a different it. lady. I'll just say it. <laughs> so yeah, good breakfast, recommend it. Also helps the budget, right? Having a free breakfast, you eat a full meal. You can, a lot of times we didn't eat lunch. I know. We kind of had an early dinner. And I know, and then had you a can real go nice to Larry's dinner. ice cream later. And Larry's ice cream later, there you go. I love it. Let's talk about the room. Hey, there were some neat features in this room that I really appreciate. Well, I would say Lexi really appreciated. One would be that the bedroom is separate from the bathroom. Some hotel rooms, you go right from the bedroom into the bathroom and you turn on the light and it wakes the person up in bed and all that. No bueno. No. This one, you leave the bedroom, close the door behind you, sliding door, and then you enter into the bathroom and it doesn't wake up the person when you turn on the lights and all that. So that was a nice feature. The other thing, other hotel rooms, sometimes um, the only TV is in the bedroom mm. and you know, that's Grandma Lexi either. goes to bed early <laughs> and, and, and well. When it's nine o'clock, it's time for bed. Grandma Lexi, nine o'clock, I mean, yeah. <laughs> right? Right? <laughs> it's no joke, that's true though. <laughs> so anyway, so I'm not really tired yet. So this room allowed me to exit the bedroom and then have that open kind of living room area with the couch and the little eating nook area and a whole separate flat screen TV. So that was really nice to be able to have and kind of watch something, sports or whatever. Celtics were on, so I wanted to recap the game and all that. So Again. anyway, good stuff there. I would say it was really well designed. I was very pleased with the room. The bed was comfortable. The mattress was fabulous. Yeah, we didn't have any complaints regarding the our sore back and, and all that, which is important when you're there for a week and you want to mm -hmm. be active, right? So good stuff. Yeah. Good stuff. I'd Overall, recommend that. Very good. Yeah.
O overall. Overall. How would you rate the experience at the Embassy Suites there in Washington, D.C.? Overall, let's see. Accessibility to coffee, accessibility to fun things to do, accessibility to the metro, free food, excellent mattress, more coffee available. I, overall, I'm going to give it probably 7.5. 7.5? Yeah, okay. pretty good. Pretty yep. good. I would say, you know, it's closer to Georgetown University and some of the things there. So that's kind of a bonus. You can knock that out and go check out things there. And then not necessarily walking distance down to the National Mall, you'd take some some form of transportation, whether it be the Very Metro nice or an Uber or taxi or one of the uh, little scooters, Those right? Like we said, go check out our transportation video for DC. That'll help you out greatly. But yeah, I would say this hotel, the staff was very friendly and helpful. The breakfast was great. The room was great. So um, overall. I'd say it's probably an eight to, really? yeah, yeah, probably an eight, eight and a half. That All was right. really good. All right. Location could be closer to the National Mall, make it a nine, nine and a half. Thing. Yeah. I don't know if I would be no, nah, it but was good. It would bump it up. Food to an was eight good. Staff sure. was friendly. Yeah. I think so. Yeah. Okay. There you go. All right, guys. Happy travels. See you soon. Bye bye.